Hello, welcome back. It was March 2019. I'm on spring break going to Florida with a couple of my friends. Partially the reason we went to Florida was to go see DJ Pauly D in Daytona Beat. Warning, if you identify as a woman, please, please never go to Daytona Beach during bike week. So we get there early, the venue doesn't start until three o'clock. We decide, you know, let's just walk around, let's see what's going on. It seemed very festive and active. I'm with my roommate and two of my guy friends, so we split up. My roommate and I were both 20, but my friends, they were 21. We see our friends at this venue with the stage, so we think, let's get in there. Somehow we sneak in. We MacGyvered us. We don't really know exactly what's going on. We're just here, we're trying to get a drink. And this man comes on the stage and he's wearing a cowboy hat, no sleeve flannel, shirt that's open. He starts saying that in the next 30 minutes that there's gonna be a wet t-shirt contest. My friends just look at each other like, what the hell did we just get ourselves into? Mind you, my friends in the back, they're like, no, oh, yeah, hmm, wet t-shirt contest, hmm, so good, hmm. The man, he spots us out in the crowd. To my friend, he says, oh, you could be a good contestant, come up, come up. She gets immediately offended. You would think that because we were two men, that they would stand up for us. I had to step in and be like, no, she doesn't want to do that. The man on stage was very persistent and kind of aggressive. I stood in front of her and I was like, no, not her. You're not taking her. He looked at me and he said, oh, not you, honey. It's okay, move along. <laughs> Small titty committee, we out here. So I started flicking people off. I'm like, fuck no, you're not about to do this. You're not about to objectify my friend. No. So then the man on stage goes, oh, they must be lesbian. It's a gay couple. So I kissed her on the cheek. I don't want to partake in being objectified. So I obviously must not like men. The woman came up to her right after that and tried to talk to her into the contest. And I guess there's some other things and she was saying, oh, it's okay, honey. Like you're so beautiful. She was like petting her and grooming her hair. Cause she was in this bodysuit with fishnets and she had feathers draped around her. It looked like something from the 1920s, honestly. So my friend and I are like, no, we need to get out of here ASAP. This is not it. We end up leaving. We meet up with our friends later on in the day to go to the Poly D concert. And the first thing that we had said to them was, where the fuck were you when all this was going on? And they're going to respond to us and say, why did you have to cause a scene? We're like, what are you talking about? You are two tall ass men. They were taller than everyone there. Why did you not say, hey, no, she's with me. She's good. My friends, they were like gods to everyone else because they were so tall, they were black. They were just enamored by them. So we're in line to pay for our tickets. What my two friends didn't tell us, uh, they actually did not have the funds to go see this concert. This is the luckiest I've ever known a man, let alone two men, to be ever in my life. And the manager comes up to my two friends and says, oh, what are you guys doing? They say, oh, we're trying to go into this concert, but we don't really have the money for it. So the manager is like, oh, come with me and just let them in. And me and my friend, we're going through this whole process. The man who's handling me and my ticket, he starts hyping my head up. He starts saying, oh, you are so beautiful. You are da 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 I'm like, okay, cool, cool. Give me a discount, cool. We get inside the venue. We're waiting for DJ Polly D to come on set. My friends start telling us how they got in. And my friend and I look at each other like, are you fucking serious? Why didn't you say that you were with us? Why didn't you get us in for free? They're like, nah, we didn't want to mess up our chances. You know what I mean? I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? The concert happens. We're having fun. We're having a good time. Trying to get drinks. This man offered me a dollar to kiss me. And I'm like, that's it. <laughs> that's all you have to offer. I tell my friend, we need to go smoke. We need to find some way. All of a sudden I see these guys who have vape pens. They have cartridges. So I make my way over there and we're talking and we decide the party's over. Let's go smoke on the beach. The street is filled with cop cars. There's police everywhere. 12 is stacked. And they just go into the bushes, grab their wraps, grab their weed, and they just dip. I tell you, it was one of the most beautiful experiences I've ever had. Watching the sunset on the beach with the J in the rotation, just multiple in vape pens. I was smacked. I am in a, a one-piece bathing suit 
So that's what I wore. And I gave my shorts to one of my guy friends because uh, he had a backpack. So I had to borrow one of their shorts because we were gonna meet our guy friends at the club. We are at the club. I got a one piece bathing suit on, sandals, and red basketball shorts. <laughs> they find these women, I don't know where, somewhere at a bar. And these women offer to pay for their drinks and for them to get into the club. It's a group of girls. They are my age, they're not older. Assuming like 21 at the time. And they were just treating them like little sugar babies. I was so jealous. <laughs> Luckiest men I've ever encountered. Fast forward to the next day. The guys that we were with were going back to Daytona to meet up with the girls. You know, they're trying to get it in. We head over there and we go to the same club, except it's earlier in the night. So it's maybe like eight, nine o'clock, very early. You would get a wristband if you were 21, you were able to drink. One of my guy friends got a drink and we were saying that he owed us because he was having too much good luck and he needs to share it with us. I had finished taking my sip, put the cup down. He took it, he took a sip. And as soon as my friend went to go pick up the cup, someone walked in between us and had their back to me. Apparently it was an undercover cop. They were trying to arrest my friend for uh, underage drinking. I didn't know what was happening in that moment, but as soon as the cop stepped in between us, I just felt that something was happening, something was going bad. I immediately turned around and I started scaling the room, literally stepping in between groups of people to disguise myself. I was moving very fast. My friends like to say that because I had a bun at the time. All they saw was my bun, like a little bunny, just hopping through the club. Went outside the exit. I looked for a spot that was kind of crowded so I could blend in. I went to the corner where there was a little stage and there was an outside bar. And I saw the man looking for me, so I just minded my business and pretend like nothing was happening. I was getting drinks from this guy that I met at the bar. And I ended up safe. My friend on the other hand, she got charged in a really big, huge fine. It was actually crazy. She was salty the whole night. I don't blame her though. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Moral of the story is, Mind your business and everything will be okay. My name is Janet. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment a crazy story that you have, um, subscribe for more content. I also have an EP that's out called Snowfall and more music on the way. So enjoy. Bye.